How's it going, YouTube? It is our Tesla Boss here bringing you another Wi Fi battle. This is actually being recorded two hours after the last one, the one against the Mono Water type team, was recorded. And this is being recorded while the Mono Type Water one is being uploaded to YouTube as we speak. This one, however, will probably not be posted until tomorrow. So, yeah. Anyways, this is against uh, an acquaintance, I think, named Caleb. He was a passerby, and as you see, his team is pretty real. He's got Greninja, Agron, Miltank, which I'm all too familiar with. And I was praying it wasn't my set with the Thunder Wave and stuff. He got that Stoutland, the Sharpedo, and the Galvantula. And I got my standard team that you saw from the last battle, my Minetrix, Skarmory, Feraligator, Volcarona, Porygon 2, and Gallade. This battle actually took place, I believe it was either yesterday or this morning. I'm pretty sure it was, I want to say, this morning. But yeah, here's the battle. He's going to open up with his Galvantula, and I'm going to open up with my Mega Minetrix. Pretty standard stuff that you'd expect. And look, it's shiny. Right off the bat, I'm going to Mega Evolve and go right for the Flamethrower. I know he's going to set up Sticky Web, and he's going to survive because he has the Focus Dash. They typically do. So, here comes the Flamethrower right after the Sticky Web. You know, there's no point in Volt switching on out. And yeah. So, I don't really have to explain why I did what I did, you know, playing for her, gonna knock Galvantula down to stash, pretty standard stuff, can't really prevent that sticky web from coming out, but I will Volt Switch to finish it off, so I can send in a fresh Skarmory in battle, which will allow me to get a Defog off. It'll be safe to get Defog off, and that's why I went into Skarmory. And he's going to send in his Greninja. Now, I was debating going to Porygon 2 so I could play some Thunder Wave recovery games, but I decided the sooner I get the Sticky Web out of the way, the better. So he's going to go for Hidden Power Fire, and sadly, I don't see many Greninjas with Hidden Power Fire. I don't understand why. It's great to take out Feral Thorn, Scissor, and stuff like that. I go for the Defog, and I'm going to let him finish me off with Surf. So, Skarmory did his, well, her job, and that's that. I am going to send in my Mega Minetrix next. And I am knowing full well that they're going to switch. They're not going to let Greninja think that easily, but I'm going to go for the Volt Switch anyway. He's going to switch his Greninja out for Agron, which is going to take over half from a Volt Switch, because let's be honest, Agron isn't the most specially defensive Pokemon in the game. Well, actually, that didn't really do over half, that did uh, just about half. I'm going to switch to my Volcarona, and I am going to hope that Mega Evolves, and hope that the Fire Dance will take it out, but no. He goes right back into his Greninja, and Fiery Dance is going to not do anything to Greninja, unfortunately. Um, I actually didn't predict he was going to switch to Greninja because I figured that he would think that his Mega Aggron would survive a Fiery Dance due to his ability. So that's why I didn't, you know, predict the Greninja switch in. I went into Porygon 2 because I knew he was going to try to take out Volcarona and that's what you want to do is take out Volcarona in four sets of Quiver Dances. I know Porygon 2 can take a few hits from Greninja, so I went in there attempting to paralyze it, but that obviously didn't work out. Greninja's going to U-turn on out of here, and he goes right to Jaws to the Sharpedo, and that is the best case scenario for me, actually. I want the thing paralyzed, so the speed boost is nullified. That couldn't have gone any better, in my opinion. He's going to protect. Probably should have went for recovery here, but I figured he would switch out. Or something. But nope. No such luck. So, yeah. Now I'm going to switch Porygon 2 out. And I'm going to go into my Glade. He's going to withdraw his Sharpedo. And go into 
Nipples the Milton. Interesting, right? So I'm going to attempt to Dream Punch it, even though Miltings are physically defensive and Dream Punch would probably do 40% at best. However, he switches his Aggron to soak up the four times. Super effective Dream Punch. So I guess he sacked the Aggron. He must have plans for that Miltink or something. He's going to switch into Maggie the Stoutland. And I'm just going to let, you know... Delayed Saint to retaliate because honestly, Delayed is not going to be able to do much to Miltank, being that Miltank is a defensive beast. Now, I'm switching my Metric out, and I'm actually not sure if Stoutland is Scarf. He's typically our Scarf, but I'm not 100% sure this one is. So I figure I get the attack drop on it just in case. I went for a Volt Switch, but he switches out. And look at Miltank taking that Volt Switch. Now, it didn't do as much as I hoped, because, honestly, I don't think Miltank's special defense is stellar. Now, here's where I go and make a big mistake. I went for the Quiver Dance, hoping that this Miltank would set up curses, because, remember, I did face this guy before, and I did know his Miltank set, but, unfortunately, he's going to body slam, and, unfortunately for me, Volcarona gets paralyzed. That's just great, so, honestly, there's not much Volcarona can do at this point. Because it's, it's going to get outsped by Sharpedo and, you know, Greninja, even with the Quiver Dance. So yeah, ooh, almost took that Milton down with Bug Buzz. However, no such luck. And now Milton's going to get the Milk Drink, and yeah. And now Bug Buzz is once again going to take Milton down to size. And Meltank's going to completely annihilate Volcarona with a body slam, and that's that. So unfortunately, Volcarona was unable to do much in this battle. Going to send Mega Manetric out. And I'm going to finish this Meltank off with a Thunderbolt, because honestly, I don't want this thing in battle anymore. So, goodbye Miltank. See you later. Miltank is down for the count. I'm going to send out Maggie to Stella, and I am not taking my chances. I don't want Mega Manetric painted. So switching Mega Manetric out, going to Porygon 2, seeing how well Porygon 2 can take a retaliate. I really don't know what item is on the Stoutland. I am assuming it's a Scarf, or I was assuming. And I'm just going to let Porygon 2 paint. I'm going to stack it off, and Porygon 2 is down for the count. Mega Man Atro comes back out, and lays an attack drop on Stoutland, which is what I wanted to happen. I'm going to withdraw it, and go right into Jaws 2 to stack it off to a Volt Switch. So, that's pretty unfortunate that I didn't get to kill off that Stoutland quite yet, but, hey... I'm going to send right back up my Feraligar, and honestly, if this guy killed my, um, Feraligar with that Retaliate, I would have lost. No doubt, actually. So, Waterfall, he's going to take a hefty chunk out of that Stoutland. He's going to withdraw a Stoutland for some reason? And go into Greninja and watch what happens. Greninja faints to a waterfall. That shows you how frail Greninja is. Granted, the Feraligator was life orb boosted, but oh well. And now I'm just going to let Feraligator faint to a reversal from Stellar because there's not much else Feraligator can do at this point. Which leaves Mega Manetric versus Stoutland. And I am praying that this thing... Actually, I didn't care if it was Scarf or not, because honestly, Reversal wouldn't have done much to Manetric, especially with that attack drop. So, it's obviously not Scarf, and Thunderbolt is going to completely take it out, and that is the match. And that was a pretty intense match, and honestly, 
I know it doesn't seem like a big deal, or selling doesn't seem like a big deal, but I've watched Skyranger's videos, and he used a Stellan, and his Stellan made me fear that Stellan, and I am glad I was able to take that down. I'm glad for all year did not faint and could knock Stellan down to red health, because I am pretty sure a Thunderbolt wouldn't have one hit KO'd Stellan otherwise. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time for another Wi-Fi battle. Stay tuned for scenes for the next Wi-Fi battle. Thanks again.